Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to execute a bracket order using the TradingView mobile app. Now, bracket orders are going to allow you to be very efficient because it's going to allow you to preset a profit target or a stop loss before you enter a position, but you can also apply a bracket order after the fact that you enter the position post trade as well. Now, there are three different ways to enter a bracket order using TradingView Mobile App. You can do it from your positions display within the app, you can do it directly off the chart, and you can also do it from the order ticket. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate all, all three different methods. Now, the main benefit of a bracket order is what we call OCO, which means order cancels other. So if either one of the orders get filled, meaning the take profit or the stop loss, the other remaining order will automatically get canceled out. So this is going to be more of an automated way to manage positions once you get into a position. All right, so right now we're looking at a micro E-mini S&P 500. This is an exchange-traded futures contract that trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And the first demonstration that I want to create is show you how to place a bracket order from the positions display after you get into a trade post-trade. All right, so right now I'm just going to get into a simple long position. Looks like we bought a contract at 54.49 and a half. And now we're going to click the little AMP logo into the right of the buy market button at the top of the chart to get us into our account summary. So this is gonna allow us to see our position summary, our order summary, history, account summary, and more. What we wanna do is wanna make sure we're on the positions tab and notice there's sub tabs as well, such as individual positions, but we wanna make sure we're on the net positions. Now notice you'll see the position display. So right now we're currently long one contract of the micro S&P 500 at 54.49 and a half, but notice you don't see any take profit and there's no stop loss. So essentially this is a naked position. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click with our finger on the open position display and you're going to see this menu appear and we're going to go and want to click on protect position. Now you have the ability to apply the bracket order to the open position by simply activating the take profit and stop loss. Just make sure that you check off the take profit and stop loss so you can actually see that's activated. Now there's multiple ways to set parameters for the bracket order. You can set it based on ticks. You can set it based on exact price, dollar value, as well as percentage. Now I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use the tick parameter. This is going to be based off the entry price of where I got filled at. So I'm going to use a value of eight for the take profit as well as eight for the take for the stop loss. Now, once you start changing the parameters, for example, I did on ticks, everything else will adjust based on what you're setting. So you can see now the price adjusted, the dollar value adjusted as well as percentage. Once you're ready to apply the bracket, simply hit the modify button. Now you can see the take profit and stop loss has been applied. Remember, we set an eight tick take profit and an eight tick stop loss. So right now we're long from 54.49 and a half, which is our average price. Our take profit is at 54.51 and a half, and our stop loss is at 54.47 and a half, which is precisely eight ticks from the average price. And that's how you apply a bracket order from the positions display. Let's go ahead and close out this trade now and show you how to place a bracket order directly from the chart. Now you can place a bracket order attached to a pending order, and you can also place a bracket order attached to a market order as well when you're placing trades directly off the chart. Let's first show you how to place a bracket order to a pending order. Now, if you're not familiar with pending orders, pending orders are typically limit orders and stop orders to get into a trade at a specific price. So you're waiting for the market to hit that specific price to get into the trade. And then once you get into the trade, the bracket order would then be initiated. So we call the initial entry order the parent order, and then the orders to get yourself out of the trade, which is the take profit and stop loss, is what we call the child orders. Child orders can only be produced once the parent order is filled first. So right now, you're going to first pick a desired price that you want to place your pending order at. So let's just use a very basic example of 54.75 and a half. Market's well below that price right now, so we're not going to get filled anytime soon. But let's just go ahead and place a simple sell limit order at 54.75 and a half on a limit order. Notice now you can actually see the limit order working on the chart. You can see the red box, which represents a sell transaction. LNT means limit order, and then you'll see to the left of it a numerical one. So we're at this point, we're trying to sell a micro S&P 500 contract at 54.75 and a half on a limit order. That order is at the exchange right now, so it's actual an actual working order. So the parent order is ready to go, but we don't have those child orders just yet. So now how we apply the bracket order to the parent order is we're going to click on the working order display with our finger. And notice now a TP and SL will appear to the left of the working order display. TP means take profit, SL means stop loss. So at this point, what we need to do is simply swipe up and down to move the TP and stop loss to the desired price where we want to place those orders at. Now, if I click with my finger anywhere outside on the chart, it'll 
get us out of outside of bracket mode and to get back into bracket mode we need to re-click on the actual working order display to see the tp and sl reappear so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our finger and in this case in this example we're going to go short at 54.75 and a half so we want our stop loss to be above our entry price which is going to be our buy stop so we're going to drag the sl to our desired price and we're going to release it wherever we want to place that buy stop so let's just say 64.84 and we're going to do the same exact thing with the take profit. Now, once you first place that buy stop, the TP will go away. So we need to click on that working order display once more to see the TP, as you can see there. And we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to swipe down and release it at the specific price that we want to place our buy limit order at for our take profit. Now, one thing I want to point out, it's a little hard to see because of the software that I'm using to record my phone. It's a little pixelated, as you can see. But notice how the working order display, the main parent order of the sell limit at 54.75 and a half, it's a little more visual it's more bold and you can see that the take profit and the stop loss is kind of like a lighter shade so that's kind of letting you know that the take profit and the stop loss is not working just yet because the parent order hasn't been filled you'll you'll see in a moment when we get into a trade on on the chart once we have all orders working when we're in the position and we actually have the take profit and stop loss working you'll see there's consistency as, as far as how it looks across all the order displays but right now the main parent order is much bolder compared to the child orders because the child orders are technically not working just yet because the parent order hasn't been filled. All right, so that's how you apply a bracket order to a pending order when placing trades directly off the chart. Now watch this, when I also cancel out the parent order, before I do that actually, notice also on the take profit and stop loss, it actually gives you dollar values as well. So if I were to get stopped out at 54.84, I'm going to lose $42.50 before commissions and fees. Or if I hit my take profit at 54.67 and a quarter, I'm going to make $41.25 before commissions and fees. That's a nice little added bonus where you're able to visually see how much you're going to make on the trades depending on what happens. But the main thing again is the OCO. So if either one of those legs get filled, the other order is going to automatically get canceled out. Now, when I cancel out the parent order before before the order gets filled, not only will the parent order get fill, uh, canceled, but the child orders will also get canceled as well. So anytime you use a bracket order, the bracket order is always going to be tied in. The parent order is always going to be child, uh, tied into the child orders. So it's all going to be linked together. So when you cancel you know, either one of those legs or if you cancel the, or if you close the position, all orders that are attached in the bracket order are, are also going to be canceled out as well. All right, so that's how you attach a bracket order to a pending order. Now let's show you how to attach a bracket order to a position that is already established. So let's just say, for example, we go long. So we just bought one micro S&P 500 at 54.50. There's our working order display. We're currently break even on the trade. So we're long for 54.50. And it's the same exact thing. We're going to actually click on the open position display with our finger. And notice now the TP and SL will appear. So again, if I click anywhere outside the chart, it goes away. If I click on the open position display, it reappears. So that's kind of like your on and off button. You're going to click the open position display to activate or deactivate bracket mode. And then again, same thing. This time we're long. So we're going to move our stop loss this time below the current market price, or better yet, the entry price. And then we're going to move our take profit above the entry price. All right, so now we have a sell limit and we have a sell stop around our open position. Let's go to our position display just make sure everything is there you can see our long position at 5450 you can see our take profit at 5461 and a half and there's our stop loss at 5439 and a half all right and that's how you apply a bracket order after the fact when you enter a position when placing trades directly off the chart and last but not least let's go ahead and show you how to place a bracket order using the traditional order ticket so we're going to go ahead and Activate the order ticket by clicking Create New Order from within the context menu, and here's the order ticket. Very straightforward. This is selling. This is buying. You can place a market order, limit order, stop order, stop limit. So if we go market order, for example, notice the take profit and stop loss is there, just like we saw in the first demonstration where we were able to add the, the bracket order from the position display. The only difference this time is you're able to attach it with the order ticket. So I can activate the take profit and stop loss. Let's stick with the same parameters of eight ticks for the take profit and eight ticks for the stop loss. And now we're going to hit buy market at the bottom. All right, let's go to our AMP logo at the top there, and let's make sure everything is correct. So we're going to go to net positions. So we're long from 54.50, and there's our take profit at 54.52, and there's our stop loss at 54.48. Uh, so exactly eight ticks from the average price, which is exactly the parameters that we set just a moment ago. All right, and then one more example. Let's just go ahead and show you now how to place trades, uh, better yet, apply a bracket order to a pending order from the order ticket. So this time we'll use limit order. Let's go short this time. 
So right now we're currently bid, uh, let's see, 50 even by 50 and a quarter. So let's just place a sell limit above that price. Let's do 54, 52 even. Again, this is a pending order. So we're essentially waiting for this order to get filled when the market hits that limit order. And then we're going to attach or take profit and stop loss as well. All right, we'll use the same parameters of eight ticks for both. And now we're going to hit the sell limit button. And now let's go into our order summary and make sure everything is actually correct. So if we're selling to go short at 54.52, our take profit is 54.50, and there's our stop loss at 54.54. So it's eight ticks precisely from the limit price of 54.52. And this is how you place a bracket order using the TradingView mobile app.